Your antenna is the most important part of your setup. You could have the best radio on the planet, but if your antenna sucks, you're not going to do very well. Today, I'm counting down my favorite antennas for SWL, starting now. So make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. Starting out the list at number 5 is the tried and true random wire antenna. The idea here is to get some wire in the air. Length doesn't matter here, we are just trying to get the best reception we can with minimum effort. You could run the wire between trees, around a fence, or zigzagged in the attic. While not the best antenna, I chose this one for its convenience. Since the antenna is a monopole, for best results make sure to connect your radio to an earth ground. Coming in at number 4 is the magnetic loop antenna. There are many variations of this antenna, but the benefits are the same. Its small size makes it easy to deploy. It can also be hidden in an attic if you have deed restrictions. Loop antennas have strong knolls on the sides, making it directional, which can be beneficial to knoll out interfering stations. Because of this, the loop antenna is a popular choice in direction finding. At number 3 on the list is the sky loop antenna. With this wire antenna, bigger is better here. You want to make your loop as large as possible. Over 600 foot is good. You do not have to make a circle, a square shape is fine. The idea is to get as much wire in the air as possible. You could use multiple trees on your property as support. Since both ends of the single wire connect to the coax cable, this is a terminated antenna. Terminated antennas give you a lower noise floor. Number two on the list is the beverage antenna. This is another terminated antenna, but the wire is ran in a straight line. You're going to need some land for this behemoth. A good length here is 650 to 1600 feet long. The antenna is usually hung around 6 to 10 feet high. The coax is connected to one end of the wire with a ground and a ballin. And a resistor to ground is used to terminate the other end, giving it a low noise floor. This antenna is extremely directional, making it a great choice for DX work. And at number one on the list is the terminated folded dipole. Developed in the 40s by the Navy, this antenna takes the top spot for its all-around performance and low noise floor. It is a great performer in high noise urban areas and some even claim insensitive to man-made radio interference. This antenna is constructed from two equal pieces of wire connected to a 4 to 1 ballin, with the ends folded back to the center and terminated with a non-inductive resistor. This gives the antenna a smaller footprint and can be concealed easily in an attic or other areas. Most often, this antenna is mounted sloping at a 20 to 40 degree angle to make it more omnidirectional and giving it the name T2FD. And that's my top 5 favorite antennas for shortwave. Do you agree with my list? Anything you would add? Let me know down in the comments. I have also put links in the description to kits that make it easy to construct these antennas and try them out yourself. 